Hey there guys, welcome, welcome. I'm here with some more Cricut tips and uh, tricks. We've talked about Cricut charging for their fonts and you can find them, you know, for free at many sites. One of the most popular sites is dafont.com. That's D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Okay, and what you can do here is you can search through this is one I don't have. Okay, so this magic spots. So just go to download. It's going to open up my folders. I'm going to click save. And then watch. When I open the folder, I'm going to click on that. And it's just going to say install. This couldn't be any easier. When you open your Cricut and you go to your fonts and your system fonts, the fonts on your system will show that you have installed. Now, if you're already in design space, you may have to back out of it and reopen it if you've added new installs, okay, to see them. But it couldn't be any easier than that. And you can go up here and let's see... Um, we want to go for, let's say, retro. This one I like. I don't have this one. Just go to download. Save. Open it up. Okay, now this is README. Thanks a lot, but it'd be right in here. Install. And that's it. It's done. And we can close out of that. Let's see what else. This one's nice. I like this one. The Rustic. I don't have that one either. Huh. I want them all. Okay, so we've got the font. There we go. Okay, I do want this one. This is uh, one that I used to use in PicMonkey all the time. And then PicMonkey, oh my gosh, they started getting crazy with, it's a Bumbo Jiggler. Okay, so we can get that. You see, they'll give it to you in two different. Well, we've got Jiglish, so we want to install this one too because it's more than just one font you get with that one. So that's good. Um, let's just pick out page seven. Well, this is nice, isn't it? This one is nice too. Um, this could be a little hairy cutting out stuff for the cricket if that's, but I do like this fiesta Might as well. This unicorn. Um, Turnpike. I'm going to download Turnpike. Again, just true type file. Install. And then close out. Okay, so now let's look at some other things, okay? We can go over here to dingbats, animals. These will be some icons. So you've got the little Westie. Got to download this one. I don't know if I already have this one. I'm going to download it. Now this, what's going to happen? Same kind of thing. Install. And you've got your doggies. 
We got our doggies. And I'm actually going to be doing some dog stuff today. And for people that want their catties, little cats, you can download your kitty cats. And open your kitty cats. And install your kitty cats. And those are good for, like, when if you want to make big ones and write your cat's name and, and pop it out, you know, like how we did um, that slice label, uh, the mama bear. We've also got dinosaurs and butterflies. And what else do we have? Lots and lots of animals. Let's see. Here's some animals by breed, some bears. Here's some cartoonish kind, ladybugs fish, okay, so you've got that, let's see what else we have over here, um, let's just see what nature's like. So these are nice. If you want to add something like this, flourishes or trees, leaves, flowers, lots of things here to embellish signs or um, anything that you want to embellish. Just looking at this one. I do want this one because for Canadian ramblers, I wanted to use the leaf with, and I'll show you some things I've been working on. Let's see here. So we're going to install that. Okay. And we're going to close out of that. Let me just see if there's anything. Let's go to page four. So I'm going to do my Christmas houses today. I'm going to try to get some cricket stuff today and try to get the pumpkin cookies made. And I have big hopes and dreams and plans. <laughs> um, I like these. Let me just do this as my... Said it's so easy, right? It's so easy. Okay. So let's go to, you know, if you wanted like old school script. And script is something, it's really, I don't think the, the cricket has like anything free with the um, script. So again, you know, like the first time I opened it, I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Me? But then, you know, some one of you told me, I think it was Dalia. Okay, guys, so here's my design space, and I'm going to show you where we're going to find the fonts. So let's go to my projects. Let's go to Maker. So get Maker a new project. Okay, now let me just pick our font tool, right? And I'm going, whoops. I'm going to say, type mummy ramblings. Okay. Now let's go up here. We're going to go to system. You remember the fonts that we just downloaded? And just so you see, if I go to Cricut, Look at the prices, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, right? We don't need that. We don't need that. We can get everything we want. We'll just go to system, and you'll see I've been a busy bee adding stuff to my, it hasn't, it hasn't loaded completely yet. It's just got the A's and the B's, but you'll see. Come on. Sometimes it takes a moment to catch up here loading up ok 
cancel that. What's that going on? Here we go. Slowly trying to. Usually, I will. You can search fonts. You can filter them. Go to Cricut. We'll go to all. We'll go to system. Sometimes um, it does this when it's adding the fonts. It takes a little time. So we can go down here, click out of that, and then click in it. And usually if I refresh it again, it is faster at loading up. There, see? a weird little glitch I've seen okay but you'll see all the fonts that I have for free have not paid for one font so don't despair when you first see that you'll see it's added the Christmas ones I just added right let's put all of my stuff here's my dogs my dogs okay so it's added all my stuff in here couldn't be any easier, right? So that's how you add your new fonts in there. Now, if I want to change this, all I'm going to do is just click on this. I'm going to highlight the one in the box right there, right? And go to my system. I don't even have to do that. Let's just, I just have it. Okay. So easy peasy. Ah. I want to move my, I want to move this box. Why isn't this moving? Why aren't you moving? i to find the right place to grab it. There we go. There we go. So yeah, and if we wanted to change it to something else, just click on the box. And go to system. I wish... Just go to system, and this is bunny ears, but yeah, really, really, really easy. So what other kinds of free things can we get for our Cricut? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do here, just go in your search bar. Whoops, I keep hitting my thing. So in your search bar and go free SVG designs or free, oops, SVG, excuse me, Cricut. You'll come up with a lot of things. You'll come up with either you know, lists of, of places or whatever, but we can go here to the Girl Creative, right? Yeah, okay, thanks. And she's supposed to give us a list. Okay, so this love SVG is a good one, a girl and a glue gun, happiness is homemade. That's what she said. Scarlet Rose Designs. Let's just look. Um, most of them free SVG files have a freebies or a free. Okay, and these are free. Sorry about that, guys. But um, you've got lots of free designs here. You have Milk for Santa. All about those sales. 
Hey, I like that one. All about those sales. So on this one, you'll add it to the cart. It's free, right? You continue shopping. They're all kinds of different, all kinds of different, all different. Go back to the freebies. I like these. I like those. And it's a cart. Why not? Why not? Oh, I didn't want to check out. I did not want to check out yet. No, 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 no. I did not want to check out yet. I like this one. So you just, on this one, just keep looking at things you like, add them to the cart. Some are direct downloads. Some are just ask you for your email. Uh, this is a cute little monogram one. Uh, game on. I like that. Sports bundle. Take the sports bundle. Thank you. Okay, now when you go to checkout, I believe I have an account with this. So you're going to just put in your email and password, or you're going to sign up for a new account. And it's as easy as that, okay? Um, and that's it. And there's nothing to pay. And you just go ahead and sign off on that. And there's lots of things. Like you could go over here. There's dollar deals. Um, sort by featured. Old to new. New to old. Okay, um, happiness is homemade, like that, add to cart, continue shopping. Okay, I'm going to show you just another, um, another thing you can do, which would be free SVG files, okay. go here and find some just like that right um, so say you wanted this one this one you just go here and you download I think originally I, I signed up with an email but it's a compressed file and I'll show you what you do here. You open up that file and it's right there. Okay. So very, very easy. Amazing things are going to happen. I like that one. Download the zip. Yes. Okay. And so that's, you know, really, really very easy. The other thing you can do to get things for your Cricut is to just, let's say, over here, um, Let's say you have a Scotty dog. Scotty dog clip art. Right? And go here. Okay? Then you can take that and you can save it. Save image as. Oops, that's good. 
Scotty Dog Clip Art. There. Um go save that one. I like that one. Okay. Guy. I like this in the flower. Look how cute that is. I already, uh, so you could get, you know, your dog there. You can put, uh, West Highland Terrier Art and Pally and Westy Mom. That's something, right? Uh, let's see. I have that one. There's a Scotty on it. Transparent. So you can just go in and get lots of things to use. Here's a West Highland. That's not able to use. It's got the copyright all over that one, so you can't use that one. Here's a car interior. So, I mean, um, here's a Westy Dog Silhouette. Got Westy. Okay, um, same kind of things for like dog, bone, clip art. You can go in and, and check those things out. Grab one of these, then make a slice with your dog's name in it. You know, put labels on the food dishes, whatever you like. I'm going to label my dogs a lot of things. So you've got paw prints. Lots and lots of stuff to choose from. And I'm going to show you what I'm making today. But I just thought that it helped you get started. I, I picked a lot of these last night. They have a lot of nice ones here. And they have fonts. And they have SVG files and all kinds of things, right? I, I almost love you more than bacon. Eye rolling is my cardio. I have to get that one. So super, super simple. Now watch, you know, you just open it up and you have a PNG file, you have an SVG document. So this, you know, you can upload right to your Cricut. Purchase them, I didn't purchase that. I don't know who, I didn't purchase that. It's not me. It's not me. Okay. So. We're going to go to upload. It's in the way. Okay. And just upload our image. And that, I'm going to do this with. So now let's go back. Browse, eye rolling, there we go, it's on the transparent background, it's all ready, we don't need to do anything here, right, simple, we're all good, continue, okay, now you want to save it as a cut image, save and there you go now it's in here 
You can do that for all the images you have at one time, so they're all in here for you to use. Now, um, there's always time for tea. It's just very easy to do that. So if you want to add some more images, like I can go to some of my Christmas images that I added. There we go. Simple. Continue. Continue. Save it as a cut image. Save. That was the first thing I had to learn, like save it as a cut image. But you see, you can start putting all of your designs in here, so they're all they're all in here as you download them. Browse. I downloaded a bunch of states in here yesterday. Oh, this is a font. I think I have this one in there. I believe that. No, I don't want that. That's not a font. So I'll show you. I downloaded a bunch of states. So oops, to do some. So Kansas, let's see, Kansas clip art. We'll go here and upload that. Here's our Kansas clip art. Now, so we have to do simple. And what we're going to do is continue. We're going to want to get this out of there. So we just click this. OK, and down there. I think we're all good. Continue. Looks good, folks. Save as a cut image. And there's our canvas, uh, Kansas. And just like that, I can upload different states that I downloaded last night. So New Jersey, or New Hampshire. Okay, we've got New Hampshire. Here, this one doesn't need anything. So we're going to hit simple. Let's go. We're all good. We don't have to erase anything. Continue. Save as cut image. Save. Okay, we're ready to roll on that. Um, all right, guys, so I really hope that helped you, you know, um, find some things. I found a lot of things. I do want to upload them to my system here. So let's see. Like... So if I take this and take simple, okay, erase, click there around the head, make sure that's good. Erase that, and then right, real good. Oh, we're not all good. Hold on. We have to go back. Now are we all good? Let's see. Oh, we still have a little E to go. Okay, go back. Uh-oh, we raised too much, so we hang on. We want to Okay guys, I think you see how easy it is to add images, to add fonts. So have fun with your Cricut. I hope this helped you. I've got a puppy that wants to go out. And so I'm going to go take the puppy out and I'm hopefully going to show you some more projects today with the Cricut. Anyway, have a good one guys. Make it a great weekend. Be nice to each other, spread that love around, 
Nobody likes mean people. Everyone, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. This video helped you. I'd love a thumbs up. Love you to subscribe and hit the notifications. Take care now. Share it. Have a great day.